Hey guys. I always feel like I'm in the same outfit, but that's okay. We're cool. This is my friend Courtney's sweat, sweat shirt because all of my other sweatshirts are like in the wash, so I'm wearing hers. So shout out to Courtney. If you want to come by and get this, it's not dirty and I'll clean it. She said she was going to come by and get it and she never did, so now I'm wearing it. But <laughs> that'd be Courtney. So my uh, my official drink is uh, black coffee. It's all I drink. It's black coffee. But then it makes me feel gross if I don't like eat and then I have it in the morning. So then I need to drink a lot of water as well. But if you want the key to my heart, just get me black coffee. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Yo, savage, 17 savage. Mm. My day has been great. I woke up super late because I was out really late last night because it was my friend's birthday party. So I woke up and <laughs> I um, went to Jones on 3rd for a little salad action. It was really good. That's where I got this coffee from. And um, yeah, I went on a nice walk. And that's pretty much it. You did a project for me? What did you do? <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> you know, apparently people don't really hear my... New York accent, but then as soon as I say coffee, it's like over. They're like, whoa! So, yeah. Um, I am, oh my god, it's brick outside right now. But I don't want to go inside because it's like, it's so hot inside, but then it's so cold out here. <laughs> I look like an egg. <laughs> um, yeah, what else is new? I don't know. So last night, oh my god, I'll have to, I'll have to check that project out. So I went to, um, hey, Karis Leedy, what's up? I went to, um, I went roller skating last night for my friend's birthday party, and then we went back to someone's house, and it was so much fun, and we danced the night away. As soon as music comes on, I become a completely different person. Like I go ham, like I go hardcore. So, um, ooh wee, um. So, then, um, oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then at the roller skating place, I met, like, so many fans, they were so nice. One girl, like, played BAM, like, she played BAM on the, in the roller skating rink, and that was so much fun. Um, yeah, so that was really nice, it was so nice meeting y'all, and, um, I don't think what else. Um, yeah. I know I need to get it. Yeah. Like it. <laughs> You're already obsessed with zombies. I've already watched like 16 times already. Wow. 16 times. That's a long periodically time. <laughs> You're playing laser tag. Oh, I love laser tag. Pew pew pew. I suck at it though. Like I am so bad. But I love it. But I'm always like second to last in the leaderboard or last. That's that's me. But it's fun to do with friends. But I get shot so many times. And my aim is terrible. I don't know how I... I'm literally so bad, but it's okay. I can't sport that well, but that's okay. Actually, I can catch things. That's what I can do. I can catch. But throwing? Oh! I cannot do that. I like watching sports, though. Like, when sports comes on, I get so into it. Like, no one can talk to me. I'm just like, wow! Like, I get really into it. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dancing school, dancing school. Mm, post for a screenshot. Well, 
What's my name? Is it Uma? Get it? <laughs> Yo! Fabulous! What's up? <laughs> it is freezing and I'm drinking iced coffee. I'm just, I'm just, uh. Am I dating Milo? No, I am not. Hey, Magic Kingdom. <laughs> What's up? How's Magic Kingdom doing? See, it's cold because my nose is getting red. Ma'am, the reason I'm outside, <laughs> fabulous. Um, because I like to enjoy the fresh air. Am I dating that guy on Nickelodeon? Oh, Amar? Oh, no, 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 no. He's just my... My homie. I love him so much, though. I love him so much. He's the sweetest. Kylie and Carla say hey! Yo, hey, guys! Yo, Kylie and Carla are killing it in Magic Kingdom. And, um... Did, oh, you're with Milo? Yo, guys, what's up? Um, I'm not dating Milo. Um, Kylie and Carla are killing it in Disney World right now. Absolutely killing it. And they're having so much fun because it was both of their first times being in Disney World and they're having like the time of their lives. So like, I'm s like, it's just so exciting. I'm so glad that they're having a good time. Oh my God, Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple. Yeah. That's Milo's favorite emoji. Coffee. Answer. No. <laughs> I know my nose is getting red because it's cold. <laughs> I know more about American Girl Dolls than you do, genius. <laughs> what the? Is this allowed? What the? Is this allowed? Please stop. <laughs> Why am I drinking iced coffee when it's cold? Why not? That's the question. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to get some fresh air because it's hot as a sauna in my, um, house. So I just wanted to come out here to get fresh air. But hey, you should ask Milo why he eats ice cream on cold days because that's what he likes to do. I like to do that too, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to need to make a loop of... I, uh, I can't read. I'm so sorry. You choked on ice cream before. What? That's crazy. How did you choke on ice cream? <laughs> Jasper. I feel like everyone's wondering this, so I'm going to say it. Do you like, like Milo? <laughs> Dead. I don't have a musically. Actually, maybe I do, but I've never posted on it. And I don't have a musically app, but I think I created an account. Come in here and get y'all juice. Ah! <laughs> Tea or coffee? Uh, coffee. I drink more coffee than tea so but I do like tea don't get me wrong tea's tea's very good for your system you know what I mean <laughs> just kidding no tea's good so tea is just gonna end it just gonna end my uh, 
You are from Turkey. That's amazing. You're savage. You know, I mean, like... <laughs> Meg also rhymes with Peg. What? I'm dead. <laughs> I got this I got this bracelet like a while ago it's Gucci like not bragging or anything <laughs> just kidding it's not but it says crap because that's my mood they're a sleepover right now hey guys are you guys having a pillow fight talking about boys doing your nails <laughs> that's what guys always think girls do at sleepovers they have like pillow fights with like painting their nails like doing makeup being like oh my god like johnny's so cute you know what i mean it's not what you do trust <laughs> i mean sometimes you do it like there's exceptions but like most of the time no I love booping people's nose. It's just so cute. Boop. Sometimes I do it to my old nose. My old nose. <laughs> Sometimes I do it to my own nose. You know what's really funny? Is when I think, you know, people usually think like this or like they think like this, but I always do that when I think. I'm like, hmm, on my nose. I don't know why. You're a boy? That's cool. I'm a girl. He was a boy. I missed a girl. Can I make it? Hi, Julia. Can I make it any more obvious? I know my nose is red because I'm, I'm not even that cold, but I mean, I'm a little chilled. And my nose gets red when it's cold outside. <laughs> I'll save you, quirky Quincy underscore 23. I'm so sorry you're bored. I hope you're not bored now. Just kidding. <laughs> There were so many times in zombies where I just like booped Zed's nose in like in scenes and stuff, but they only put in one, which was um, in someday when I go. Boop. I added that the punch and then the boop. Like I did it for fun the one time, and then the choreographer was like, "Yo, put that in." So, but also Milo did that for a. Uh, the back jump, <laughs> like that, they choreographed it, like the choreographer choreographed it because Milo was on the track mat in between scenes just going like, I feel like I've said this so many times, but a lot of people have questions about BAM because it's like, so, wait, you passed down the gym yesterday, so I left early and I was watching American Alpha the whole day. That happened to me too. So I feel you on that. And thank you for watching American Alpha, that's so nice. But one time, I was taking a boxing class and I didn't eat breakfast because it was like a 7.30 class and I usually don't like eat breakfast until later because when I wake up I just don't, I feel like, I just don't feel like eating because I don't have hunger. I wish I did. Like people who eat like a full breakfast, like props to you. I wish I could do that. But like I just don't, I feel like I can't eat in the morning. I don't know why. Like the thought of food makes me like, oh. so I don't. But. You should eat breakfast because it's the most important meal of the day. Anyway, I go to a boxing class. It's like 7.30 in the morning. And I don't wake up until like noon if I don't have to wake up. So this was like very spontaneous for me. And this will never happen again because I can't wake up earlier than like 2 p.m. So anyway, I go to the boxing class, right? No food. And it's hardcore like cardio boxing. And I'm like, so I almost pass out. Like, I, like, my 
eyesight's like closing in. I'm like, oh my god, I'm like starting to feel like an ex panic attack. Like I have major panic attacks all the time. So like I felt like a panic attack coming on. I'm like feeling anxious. I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? So I'm like, dude, like I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Like I didn't eat breakfast, whatever. And he's like, it's just a mind game. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. I'm like, dude, this is not a mind game. I'm literally going to pass out because I have not eaten food. And the guy was like, okay, 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 you can you can go off. I was like, don't say all this mind stuff. Like, no, I'm going to pass out. So I go over to the guy. The guy makes me drink apple juice. Like, I get my energy up. I'm like, thanks, dude. He goes, no, it's okay. Like, people have, like, thrown up, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whoa, this class is intense. I don't even know why I'm here. Anyway, and I did the rest of the class, and it was totally fine, but I was like, oh, so that's my story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm the worst storyteller, too. Like, I just go off on tangents because I think of one thing, and then I go to the next, and, like, I just keep going, and it takes me a while to get back to the main point. I get criticized on that all the time because I cannot tell stories. Also, my voice is very loud also, so, like, I'll be saying stuff that's like very personal and should not be said out loud and it will like carry out through the entire restaurant. People will be like, and they know exactly what I'm talking about. That's, that's happened to me so many times. My family and friends are constantly telling me to like lower your voice because when I get into it, I'm like, ah! but that's my theater side because I trained in theater. So I'm always projecting. So I just go off. I go off. I also had a lot of coffee, so I'm just, like, very energetic right now, and I cannot stop talking, so I'm sorry. <laughs> my favorite song on Zombies. Yours is Someday. That's probably my favorite, too. I love Someday. I am from New York. off yeah I say off yeah I think of what other like people are like your accent I don't know um I don't know type words you want me to say and then I'll say them and then maybe it'll be cool I don't know when people say I have an accent like that's crazy hey Maria what's up Black Panther is the best Ambulance. Let's see a word. Hot dog. Walking. Here. Am I going to the rodeo? What rodeo? I don't know. What are you talking about? You say M. Balance and balance, ambulance. Huh? Hey, wait, Courtney. I said in the beginning that all of my I don't have like any sweatshirts right now because they're all in the wash. So I just threw this on. Are you gonna come by and get it? Let me know. <laughs> yeah. I go on and on, can't understand how it lasts so long. Thanks, Courtney. Come by and get it anytime. Where am I at? Los Angeles. Thanks. What people wish they looked like with messy buns? This? Oh my god, thank you, Sky. I look definitely look like an onion, but I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god, yes, Maria, sorry. Let's do it. Yes, we do. Oh! Oh, that just turned it around. How the hell do you do it? There we go. There we go. Add. Best friend from New York. Maria May. 
Oh Hello, man. Did you hear me? I was like, hello. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Great. Living Where are well. you right now? Kind of close to Times Square. Not really. Amazing. How cold is it there? Is it cold or like not that cold? It's actually not that bad today. Amazing. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I want to go home so bad. Like I'm I so know. homesick. I Ugh. want you to come home just for a day, please. Okay, just for, yeah, just for a day. Okay, tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, I'll fly there tomorrow. Okay, cool. It'll be great, it'll be great. Yeah. Great. What's All right, bye. <laughs> okay, bye, bye. <laughs> What's new? Not much. You're just chilling. Can I flip this? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> New York. New York. The big apple. The big apple. <laughs> yeah. So where, like, what cross streets are you on right now? Um, I'm on 8th and 46th. Oh, trust. Are you walking home? Yeah. Look, look. You're home. How's your mom? Yes. <laughs> Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Are you, um, how's She's your good. mom doing? How's yours? Great. My dad's back. Yeah? We're all chilling. We're having a great time. That's good. I miss your dad. He's the funniest person. He really is. Yeah. I, I really, we need to, I need to go back. Or you need to come here. Yeah. Maybe. After the semester's over. Trust. It's actually pretty cold here, too. It's a little brick. Not that much, though. I heard. It's not, like, snowing or anything, though, right? No. Never. Is it snowing there? Did it snow? A little bit, yeah. Ooh. It's, like, all over the place. It'll be really warm one day, as you probably saw, like, a week ago, and then it'll be freezing yeah. cold. That's New York. Ah, uh, true. Is this really close to my face? I feel? Is that, like... <laughs> <laughs> What, um, what drink do you have? I have a pink drink. That looks amazing. Raquel introduced me to it a couple of weeks ago, and ever mm. since, I love drinking it. So good. What does it taste like? Like strawberry or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, strawberry. It's like, it kind of tastes like a strawberry milk milkshake, kind of. Oh, sweet. I feel that. Mm -hmm. How's school going? It's going. <laughs> it's rough. Trust. Well, it's, next week I'm going to be finishing high school, which is nuts. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm so excited. Congratulations in advance. I'm ready. Oh, that's, that's so nice. Cool, yeah. Trust. Trust. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nice. It's a nice angle. It I is. look crazy. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. It is so crowded oh, here. Oh, Tic Let's go. What? Oh, Tic -tac. yeah. That's the best place ever. And it's the one I'm on 40. Yeah, with the line always. Huh? Yes. It, yeah. Oh, that's the place. Oh. <laughs> I would show you something else, but I, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. New York. <laughs> New York City. Yep. How's that? Uh, what else is new? Oh, we got to kill a little bit, girl. I can't. Hold on. No, I can't. There's a cell phone. Sorry. <laughs> Um, oh my. <laughs> um, no, nothing else, just school. Mm. Are you drinking black coffee? Of course. <laughs> of course, that's what Meg does. Always. All the time. All the time. I don't know how you do that, that's a skill. Do you watch? 
So in just a typical day in New York City. <laughs> That's what? right. Wait, oh, I don't yeah. know if it's a question. Like, typical day in New York City or, like, typical day in New York City? Was there a question mark? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Interesting. What? Hey! I know exactly where you are. Yes! Nothing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you zoom in? Oh my god, it was so funny! You can't really see. It's just like... I don't know. Ooh! Ooh! Thousand dollar cash! <laughs> It's so crazy. So much is happening. Oh oh. I want to go back home. I last no. night I had like a vivid dream about going back. Um, about being in New York. It's like I met all these people last night that were from New Jersey. So I was like, hey, now I want to go back. You have to come back soon. When you finish school, maybe. Yeah, for sure. Or like I I finished American Housewife March thirtieth, so so like in a month. Yeah. So then hopefully I'll hope I can, <laughs> hope I can come back. That's sooner than I expected. That's so good. Yeah, like in April maybe. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 April. Dee 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 dee. Anyways, I'll let you go. All right. Sounds good. This was fun. Yep. I love I you, Marie. I keep forgetting there's people <laughs> watching. I know. It's like we're not even FaceTiming. It's like, hey. <laughs> but yeah, have be safe walking back. I <laughs> Wait, hold on. Bye, everyone. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I love you. I love you more. How do I get uh, out of this? Okay. <laughs> I think we. I think I. Wait, okay, ready? Yes, bye. Bye. Okay, amazing. I miss her so much. Rip. We used to walk all the time together, just all over New York, and go on adventures. Um, lit literally, yeah. We used to go on adventures and walk around, and, like, we would have so much fun. We've been friends for, like, three or four years, but it seems like so much longer, but... Yeah, I miss her so much. Yeah, she's adorable. Um, yeah, I haven't been home since, like, I, so, as soon as I finished Zombies, right? So, I finished American Housewife um, on St. Patty's Day last year, so March 17th. Then we started filming Zombies in Toronto, um, like, April like early April. So I basically had like three or four weeks to go back home to New York. So I spent three or four weeks back home, say goodbye at everyone, basically, you know, like bye, bye. Then I went to Toronto from early April until July 23rd, right? July, 20, July 24th. I went back home and, um, no, 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 it was, like, July 22nd. Yeah, so we finished filming July 22nd, right? I flew out to New York for one day. And then I had to go back to American Housewife because American Housewife was starting on uh, July 24th. So, I haven't been back since July, and it was for one day. And that really sucks because I miss everyone so much. I always get homesick. Like, I, just being out here in L.A. just makes me appreciate, like, how beautiful and amazing my home is. Um, but I'll be home soon. And then when I'm in New York, of course, I'm going to miss L.A. and everyone out here, too. So, it just, like, it's a constant, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. So, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you. Yeah, the, um, the milk thing in American Housewife was so much fun to film. Oh, my it was great. <laughs> Musical theater! <laughs> Ghost camp! 
Hello. Do you know what YouTuber does that? Let me know in the comment section down below. <laughs> My nose is so red because it's so cold outside. <laughs> I love you so much. We'll FaceTime soon, Maria, to catch up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks, guys. It is 3.30 p.m. on the West Coast. Give it up. Daily live stream. Check in. Can't stand picture, but imagine the dog. <laughs> that dog is so funny. Oh, my gosh. How directors do it, Theo? Mm -hmm. mm. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching Zombies. Did anyone watch the Behind the Bam thing last night? Let me know if you did. Oh, I'm so cold. Yes, Milo is my best friend. I can't remember with Milo. Probably, this is not, like, my favorite memory because we have way too much. But I think my favorite one is so... During the audition process for Zombies, Milo and I became, like, best friends. Even when we weren't paired up with each other. Um, when we were pair paired up with different Zeds and Addisons, we were best friends. And the first time we ever hung out, like, outside of the audition process was when we both knew that we were um, in Zombies. And I actually found out, like, three minutes before him that I got the part. And I was like, well, let me know if Milo got the part. And he was – and they are like, well, he doesn't know yet, so don't try to tell him. So – I was texting him, like, being like, so, uh, what's up? Hear anything cool lately? And he was like, no, no, not really. And I was like, it's cool. I was like, so, uh, and I was trying to get him out of, like, I was trying to see if he knew, and then he was trying to see if I knew as well, because we both knew what we weren't supposed to tell each other. So we were trying so hard. That was funny. But, so after we got the part, I was in Santa Monica, just on vacation with my family. And... He, like, I was in Santa Monica, and he's like, oh, I'm here. Let's hang out. And I was like, cool. So we happened to be at the same place at the same time. And we met up for um, coffee and just, like, breakfast at Earth Cafe. That's a place in L.A. And... We just kind of got to know each other, and we were so nervous for zombies because we didn't know anyone else who was casted. We didn't. Well, we knew it was going to be filmed in Toronto, so we were like, "What's going to happen in Toronto? Is the cast going to be nice? Like, is the dancing going to be hard? Is the songs going to be cool? Like, what?" We were just like kind of figuring out the whole thing. We were so nervous together, so it was like really cool. And then, so then we left Earth Cafe, and then we were going to go to the Santa Monica Pier and hang out there together. But someone rented it out for their birthday crazy um crazy craziness so then um we're like okay so then we walked to like the third street promenade which is like where all the shops are so we went to the shops and we hung out there and it was fun and then he walked me back to my hotel gentlemen and um yeah that was it but it was just so much fun because the whole time we were i just remember specifically just being like yo like what's gonna happen and we were so nervous together. So it's just, like, really cool that the two of us, like, have gone through this entire journey together from, like, the beginning until now. Like, we just stuck by each other. We had each other's backs. Like, no matter what happened and if something bad were to happen, like, the two of us have each other's backs. So just knowing that, it's just really cool. Like, you just have someone by your side. You and me side by side. You know? So I just think that's cool. Anyway. I don't even know what the question was. I just went off on a tangent, so. Favorite memory. Trust me. The first thing we filmed together, though, like, the first thing we ever filmed, the first thing that Zombies ever filmed was the Seabrook dance director. It's like, go, go. Uh, they go, 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 go. My cuz. 
So like the second half of the dance break, like the Seabrook dance break part, that's the first thing we ever filmed, ever. And then we filmed, the second thing we ever filmed was like the Bucky thing. And then they filmed the zombies, like us running together. We didn't even film the fence thing that day. Um, that was like the second day. Um, yeah, so that was the first thing we ever filmed. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have any other questions. Let me know. Oh, the first thing that Milo and I filmed together. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, it was like my year. Um, it was something in that building. No. That's a good question. Actually, so we filmed this entire thing. So the ending wasn't going to be a block party. And um, the ending was going to be a reprise of Stan and Fired Up and Bam, like all in one at the cheer championship. Like that was all going to be at the cheer championship. And they took out the reprise of Stan. And then it was just Fired Up and Bam. But then they changed it. It was just going to be Fired Up at the cheer competition and Bam. And then the movie was going to end there. And then it was going to be Milo and I. So you know how we're like, oh, uh, uh, who knew that a zombie and a cheerleader could change the world and have their happy ever after, blah, blah, blah. That whole thing. That was going to be, we're all at the ice cream place and we're all hanging out. And then Milo and I walk down the street and we have that whole conversation together. And then the end is Zoe, Zed, and I playing with her dog. And we're all just running around the sand. That was going to be the ending. But then they changed it to the cheer championship. And then we have that conversation at the cheer championship. And then we have a block party at the end. So they changed, they totally changed it. So the first thing we actually filmed is not even in the movie. But boom. Yeah. Trust, I forgot about that. That's crazy. <laughs> Do, do, do. And I think I told you this too, but the blue leather jacket that I wear at the end um, in a cheer championship smelled like raw fish. And that was really bad. And so I always wore this perfume to try and cover up the smell. And I still wear it now. So whenever I'm around people with the cast, like from the cast, and I'm wearing that perfume, like the smell brings them back to filming. And it reminds them of filming because I wore that perfume so much because I was trying to cover up this stank so I, um, of the jacket. So um, every time I like hug someone or I see some of the cast members, they're like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm back in filming right now. And it's bringing me back because my smell remind, remind, uh, reminded them of filming, which is really cool. My favorite part of filming, honestly, just like any of the dances were so much fun. They were so much fun. The, can you think? My favorite scene was Milo. Um, mom, 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 mom. No, that's a good question. I mean, they're all amazing. I really like the ice cream scene. We're eating ice cream or the one right before someday where we're walking up the steps. Cause that was one of our audition scenes. Um, and also I remember Milo and I like during rehearsals and we, um, it wasn't supposed to be, it was just supposed to be like standing, but our director wanted us to do it down the steps and around the corner. And I remember rehearsing that and that was just so much fun. So um, I just remember doing that like that. I don't know. It was just a lot of fun. So that walking up the stairs scene is just like, it was a lot. <laughs> Honestly, every scene I did with Milo was so much fun because he's the best. So like it was, it was just easy to do scenes with him because it was like we were hanging out, even though we were working, like it just seemed like we were just having fun, like doing scenes, like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, every team was good. Of course, I miss filming zombies. Oh, my gosh. I want to go back so bad. I miss Toronto. I miss, um, I don't know. 
I miss everything. I miss the people. I miss all, like all the dancers, the cast and crew. I mean, that's the people. I just said that. Um, but I miss Toronto. And the thing is, is if I go back to Toronto, go back to Toronto, I miss that word right there. Um, we're not going to be filming. So it's going to be different. It's like, I'm there for just like a vacation, you know, like if you go back to Toronto, I'm going to want to be on set and I'm going to want to see all the people and have dance parties in Kylie's room. Like it's just not going to be the same. So yeah, I miss it a lot. And it stinks because as soon as I got to Toronto, like as soon as I was leaving Toronto, that's when I started everything makes sense. If, I don't know how to explain it. Like everything seems so confusing to me because it's a new city and I knew where certain places were, but I just didn't know how far away they were from each other and how like you can get there. But the day I left, like everything kind of connected and I had to leave and I'm like, Oh man, but that's what happened. So I, I miss Toronto, but if I ever, wow, English, if I ever, um, go back to Toronto. I definitely want to go back with some of the cast, like maybe like Kylie and Carla, like the three of us will go together and then we'll just hang around together again because I don't know, it's just, it was such a good time. It's like that experience, like I definitely grew and I definitely um, became like, I don't know. I felt older because even though my parents were there with me, like I, did, I felt like I was like living on my own and I felt like I was growing and everyone else was so much older. So I just felt more mature and I was walking around Toronto with like all my friends and like it was a new city and new culture. Um, I was just learning so much and that experience was definitely the best experience of my entire life. Like I would repeat it in a second. I wish it was like that Black Mirror episode, even though everything goes wrong in the episode. But you know where you can like, you have that little thing where you can just like replay memories in your head and you have them all. Like, I wish I could do that and just be there again because it was such a great experience. But learning from the Black Mirror episode, I don't want that actually because everything goes wrong. I mean, everything always goes wrong in Black Mirror. So, but anyway. I have not watched The Walking Dead. I have watched the one episode where that dude, like, dies. <laughs> but I didn't, that's the only episode I saw, just because it was, like, blowing up everywhere. So I was like, yo, I'm going to have to, like, watch this right now. So. Oh, yeah, Milo's birthday is coming up. Whoa. March 6th, let's go. Yeah, so I'm going to have to – I have this whole thing planned for him, like, a post. Actually, if you guys have an edit of Zed and Addison, please let me know because I'll put that in the post. The post. Like, I've been trying to look for an, a Zed and Addison edit that's, like, scenes, but then also a lot of the dancing from Someday. So to just go, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'll tweet, I'll tweet something and be like, yo – y'all have any I don't know. but yeah I know exactly what present I'm getting him <laughs> I know exactly what present I'm getting him and I'm very excited and um no yeah, I'm excited me turning 17 Ice coffee. Coffee. Or coffee. Coffee? Coffee. Coffee, this. Hey, Ashton, what's up? You're as smooth as brown, brown as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet strawberry wine. Hey, oh, you see this? <laughs> You're 
Or as long as a glass of brandy. Um, what did I say? Um, it takes me a while to finish my coffee. Actually, it just depends on the day. Right now, since I'm cold, I'm like, oh! You know what I'm saying? Oh. Arigato gozaimasu. Hehehe. 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 You're a sweet star. I love that song. If you guys know the song Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton, respect. <laughs> Such a good song. Okay, I've been on this for like way too long, so I am going to. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Girl Scout cookies. Come and get your cookies. <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to peace out. But it was so great talking to you guys always. I'll probably do this tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day. It'll be amazing. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I love each and every one of you. Mwah. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>